No, it's okay. No, no that's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> As you see there on the programme, the, the Runners Up Award was sponsored by um, Scottish Natural Heritage. And now, um, before we announce the winner, um, could I ask uh, Simon Albert to come up and help present the, the award from Skills Development Scotland for the overall winner. This is the biggie, this one. So I want a loud cheer. <laughs> I meant to go mad. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, on the serious side, this is the main award of the evening. And the overall winner is Scott Simpson. Before I hand over to Willie Ferguson, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Lockhead for coming. I'm sure Willie will see that in a minute, but you're now relieved, sir. You can go and uh, enjoy yourself now. <laughs> a big hand for Richard Lockhead. And, and to John Gallon for presenting the prizes here. Uh, and also, quickly, just um, get, if you haven't done your evaluation form, get it uh, signed in and handed in. And uh, I'd like to hand over now to Willie Ferguson. So here he is. Uh, it's my pleasure to, to bring the, the evening to a close. Uh, we hope you've uh, thoroughly enjoyed the evening. And uh, we'd like to thank, uh, as Burns would say, the contributors to a real good night. There are many people and organisations to thank this evening for making it a great success and adding to the recognition and indeed the reputation of the Lantra BAFTA Awards. And indeed, uh, Gordon McGlone, who some of you met in the past, who's outgoing chairman of Lantra, was telling me at his retiral dinner that he reckoned that this was the largest event by far in the Lantra calendar across the UK. So it's a big event and it's grown, as, as Richard said. So firstly, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Cabinet Secretary for Rural Affairs and Environment, Richard Lockhead. We really appreciate the time you've taken to attend out of your very busy schedule coming along this evening. And we said it's the third time in a row Richard's been here and agreed to come along and give the speech. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, I think it coming along, it demonstrates not only your own commitment, but the commitment of the Scottish Government you know, to give the support to the work of Lantra in Scotland and the recognition of the importance of skills to the economy. And uh, I'd like to wish you very best of luck in the forthcoming election. <laughs> I should also say, to keep the balance right, uh, 
I would like to welcome uh, Jamie McGregor, MSP, this evening for his first attendance at the, the Lant Awards. It's very nice to see you, Jamie. Very welcome. Hope we'll see you again. We'll come and lobby you at a later date. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'd like to thank uh, the judges in the steering group, uh, chaired by Peter Alexander and his team. Uh, I think you know they gave all their time free of charge, and I think it is very much an industry event. It's judged by farmers, employers, and crofters, and I think that's what makes it quite special. The fact that my colleagues in Lantra, we can sit back and say nothing to do with us. They're the judges, totally. Right. But no, they've put an incredible amount of time. I would have to say, I think uh, Russell adds to the weight problems of the Lantra team by bringing in copious boxes of uh, Mackey's crisps, <laughs> which go down very well. <laughs> but uh, they're very welcome, and I just thank them again. Peter for ably chairing the event and uh, giving the, the keynote speech tonight. Russell Taylor, Keith Patterson, Erica Hay, and Ray Jones. Big hand, please. I'd like to also take the opportunity to thank our uh, sponsors and contributors who supported. Again, without them, the evening could not be possible. And I'd just like to take the time to read out the sponsors this evening because they're absolutely vital to this event. I say, without their funding and support, it wouldn't happen. So, Algo, Vergauri Limited, Barney College, David Houston, Easters and Stables, Elwood College, Forest Commission Scotland, Taypack Potatoes, the George Linton, Horse Scotland, Horticultural Trades Association, Lorna Davis, Marine Harvest, National Farmers Union of Scotland, North Highland College, Oatridge, Premier One Land Services, QMS, Rural Development Initiative, SAC, Sandy Thompson, Skills Development Scotland, SNEC, SNH, and SQA. I sincerely hope you receive value for money this evening and uh, again I think it demonstrates your commitment to ensuring there's a supply of skilled labour and a supply of new entrants to this exciting industry. Thank you very much indeed. I think following on from Peter's point I'd like to thank the many employers and training providers including the three land-based colleges, SHC, UHI, and many of the other colleges for nominating their students and learners for these awards. This year there was a record of 61 entries, and thank you very much indeed, because again, without your support and putting names forward, it wouldn't be possible. Very much. I'd like to thank the entrants, and uh, thank you all the entrants, not just the winners, and I think Peter made that point, you know, and if, indeed, everyone this evening is a winner. We hope you gain from the experience. We hope you've enjoyed the evening, and we'd like to wish you all the best in your exciting futures. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> We'd also like to thank the employers, family, friends, and guests who have come along and supported the finalists and the dinner tonight. I know it means a lot to the entrants to, to know that there are people alongside that are supporting you and to make this evening a success. So thank you again for all the supporters, friends and family who have come along this evening. You've been very welcome and hope to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to all the sponsors who presented the awards this evening, come up on the stage. Uh, thanks very much again for, for your sponsorship and your support. That's it. Jo thank John Gillen, Chair of the Scotland Council, for his keynote speech and indeed his support for Lantra's work in Scotland. John, it's very much appreciated. Thank you very much for your input. Again, I would have to say I'm very proud of my team in Scotland and I'd like a special thank you to the, the Scottish team at Lantra who have worked tirelessly over the last few months to make this evening a success. And indeed, this is just one of the many events that are on the calendar. And after tonight, we'll pack up and then we'll start planning the Highland Show. And indeed, we've started planning the Highland Show and Women in Works. But thank you very much for the team. And can I ask them to stand up, please? Isabel Crawford. 
Mary Mitchell, Kelly Cook, Zachary Cullen, Lisa Sheck, and, and Susan Ritchie, who's not here. And to prove we're truly international, Paula Smith from Northern Ireland, who's been presenting, handing out the prizes tonight. Where is Paula? Come out, Paula. <laughs> Paul has come over from Belfast, specialty help us with, has been supporting us in our communications and prep work. Thanks very much, really far, very much part of the Scottish team as well. <laughs> <laughs> She's away again. Why are Sharon Dornley modest like that? <laughs> again, uh, I'd just like to reiterate the thanks that uh, Jim made earlier, and thank Creef Hydro and their staff for excellent food and service this evening. So another I'd like to thank uh, Jim Smith, our MC, for the evening. I said this is the second year uh, Jim's been in charge. Last year he got a great, off to a great start. He insulted everyone and got away with it, so you've got to have him back. Thank you, Jim, for keeping the evening going uh, and your dry wit. Uh, I was uh, explaining to Simon beside me what Burian Adid Yow actually meant in English. <laughs> uh, so where is Jim? Is he over here? Jim, can I come up and ask you? <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very Get the photographer there quick. We might get more sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> so, just finishing up, a couple of things to do. First of all, uh, at the end, we'd ask all the finalists and sponsors to come up to get any final photo shoot. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, I forgot, the video man at the end of the green. So, if you're uh, on YouTube or whatever, then uh, this is the first you've ever tried the video, so it'll be interesting to see the, the outcome of that. But thanks very much. Again, remind you, complete your forms. And I've only one last thing to do. Uh, this is uh, the special awards. This is uh, the Lantra Lifetime <coughs> Achievement Awards. And every year we have two or three people that maybe have done something in, uh, special in the industry, maybe leaving, and we've got uh, three, three nominations tonight. The first one uh, is Jim McLaren. Uh, Jim has just completed his tenure of championing the cause of Scottish farmers through the National Farmers Union of Scotland, and I think it would be safe to say he'll go down as probably one of the most successful presidents in the history of the Union. But we want to recognise his passion for his skills, for encouraging new entrants into the sector, supporting of the work of Lantra, and uh, we hope, and I'm sure this work will continue with the new management team that's come in, and it was good to sit beside Alan tonight, and hopefully you'll see the benefits of these wards and what we're doing for industry. But uh, I would like to recognise Jim, so can we come up and ask you to receive our presentation? And, uh... The other person, I want, uh, one of the people I want to mention tonight, and unfortunately can't be with us, is uh, Ian Wilson, who some of you'll know through being a colleague and working with. Uh, Ian works, has been working for the Forest Commission, and I will want to call it Middergyle, but it's Forest Commission call it Westergyle, in, in Loch Gilpid. And uh, Ian, Ian has been a stalwart in promoting the benefits of modern apprenticeship through trees and timber and working with the Forestry Commission. And indeed, I think we fair to say Ian has nurtured all of the first modern apprenticeships in forestry. He's passionate about skills and learning, and uh, not only has he supported his colleagues in modern apprenticeships, but he's come along to Lantra, the Highland Show. Uh, Simon's colleague, Danny Logue, is director 
uh, within Skills Development Scotland. We took him, he was after he came here last year, he, he really felt he had to find more about the land based sector. And we took him to Rosemary's uh, uh, stables, we took him to a fish farm, but we took him up to Argyll and uh, he came off a forest harvester after Ian Wilson gave him a demonstration, just like a little boy in Christmas. But Ian, Ian is retiring, I say, he can't be with him, can't be with us tonight, and we'd like to wish him well, and uh, maybe Ashley, his colleague, will pass on a thanks to him, and uh, when I'm maybe passing Carmichael someday, I'll drop in and give him a bottle of whiskey, if I can get away again. However, so I'd just like to recognise Ian's achievement for working with Modern Apprenticeships. Thank you. The next one's maybe not such a lifetime achievement, but I think we, we want to, to mark the occasion. It's uh, our own Kelly Kirk. Kelly leaves next week to go on maternity leave. And uh, as I think as Peter said, the next few weeks are going to be very, very important to Kelly and for the rest of the team who will be waiting to hear what's happened. Kelly's been with uh, Lantern now for four and a half years and has you know, established herself as one of the mainstays of the Lantern team. She's very much been the backbone of uh, the Land Based Learner of the Year Award and for somebody like me, I've got a dreadful memory for names, etc. Kelly carries all the knowledge about, I kind of just start to stutter and say, that, so give me a name, give me this. So carries a fantastic amount of knowledge and certainly we're going to miss her over the next 10, 11 months, whatever it happens to be. So Kelly, we wish you well. Two Kellys, what a thought. <laughs> But uh, we'd like to recognise your input and uh, with flowers from Lorna Davis, who was the first winner of the award. We know Kelly is always complaining she doesn't get flowers. to say so thank you everyone for attending and making the evening a great success uh, a bit of networking no doubt a drink or two and for those who are traveling safe journey home thank you very much indeed thank you.